Hello there folks and welcome back to Bullets for Bucks. My name's Steven and I'm at the 2022 SHOT Show here with Nick and he's going to introduce us to some new offerings from Desert Tech. Uh, what do you have for us today? So uh, this is actually our Desert Tech SRS product line. Uh, the, the new product is actually sitting behind us which is the Desert Tech SRS M2 but I kind of wanted to just walk through the, the various configurations that we have for the SRS line. Okay. So this is the A2 uh, Desert Tech SRS. Uh, it's, we have another shorter configuration of this, which is the A2 Covert. Okay. Uh, all of these are bullpup multi-caliber chassis systems. Okay. So the chassis will work with several different calibers. We offer 308, 65 Creedmoor, 300 Win Mag, 338 Lapua Magnum, 300 Norma Magnum, and 338 Norma so Magnum. You say multi-caliber. Multi Can you go from like what would be a, a short action to a long action in the same platform? That's correct. All right. So um, all of these will accept all of those calibers. It takes about one minute to swap between each caliber, and we guarantee a return to zero. And uh, I noticed, of course, it's a bolt action. So I, you, it looks like you get a lot of like space savings. It's very short with a long barrel. It's deceiving. Like I was looking at one. I think it had a 26-inch barrel, and it looked like it had a 20-inch barrel because it's so it's that bullpup design. Yep. So I imagine that's a, an advantage if you're trying to pack something in a, a, a tight area. Um, and the bolt seems smooth. What uh, what other benefits do you have uh, over maybe competitors in the market? So definitely, uh, there's the overall length savings, right? It's a lot. It's ergonomic as well. So if you are shouldering this, most of that weight is resting on your 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 back shoulder. So you're not having to carry a lot of that weight out front, which is super nice. Um, as far as other benefits, I mean, you're not losing any of the accuracy or the distance that you can achieve because the barrel length is the same. Um, so it's it's equivalent in that regard. Um, but yeah, overall, it's just really that compactness and the convertibility that, that really gives this. Uh, and I, is this an aluminum chassis, essentially? Yes. Um, I mean, I say chassis, I guess it's not really a chassis, um, but it's got M-lock, it looks like, all along this top, sides, and bottom. Is this a 20 MOA rail built in? So this is actually not, this is a, there's no cant in this okay. rail. Um, the one that's behind me, we'll get to that in a second, yeah. is, is a little bit different, yeah. So all of these come standard with um, a Desert Tech Integral monopod, which is kind of nice too. Um, a lot of guys like a bag, but uh, we have this monopod. It has a macro and a oh, micro that's, adjustment. That's sweet. So for high speed transitions, it's it's really sweet, uh, slick. Um, one of the unique things too, you mentioned large and small frame, our magazine system. So when you're changing calibers, there's no need to change out the magazine well. The magazine exterior dimensions are the same, whether it's a large or a small frame. You'll notice that little spacer uh, in the in the rear of the mag there. So this is your short action. And that it, did they come with a metal magazine then? Yes. Okay. That's what I would prefer in it. <laughs> and then recently this year, we've changed our bolts to a nickel boron coating, so it is a lot smoother. Yeah, it felt pretty smooth to me. I noticed it has the large tactical round bolt knob, and then it has QD mounts built into it, looks like, yep. um, and a cheek adjustable cheek riser as well. Um, so pretty pretty slick looking, uh, and look, you want to take a look at the other one? Yeah. So this is the, the newest configuration of the SRS, the SRS M2. Um, this was developed for a military tender that we had. Uh, and then we recently released it for the commercial market. So the differences between this and the standard A2 is going to be that full length top rail. And as I mentioned, this one does have cant built into it. So that's a 30 MOA top rail that's built in. So this one looks, I mean, to me, it looks like it's more designed for ELR, that really long range uh, shooting uh, or in a military application sniping. Um, what uh, what type of trigger do we have in there? And do you guys make that trigger? So yeah, it is a Desert Tech trigger. It is our proprietary trigger. Um, it's not like a standard bullpup trigger. There's no mushiness to this. It's extremely crisp. We utilize a stainless steel transfer bar, no linkage, so it's one straight, you know, one very crisp, clean trigger pull each time. Is it uh, adjustable in weight? It is adjustable for weight. Um, I want to say it's between one and a half to six pounds, give or take. Don't quote me on that. I'm, um, my memory might be a little bit off on that one. And these are these made? Is every is the entire rifle made in uh, Utah, or where the components come from? Yeah. So basically, ninety percent of this rifle is made in Utah. All right. Sounds great. Thanks for introducing these products to me, Nick. Yeah, absolutely. I will say one last thing. Uh, one of the other features. So there's two things that 
full length top rail and then also this Area 419 Arca Lock bottom rail on the forearm that's standard on the M2. So makes easy uh, easy mounting for bipods, tripods, and different attachments. Yeah, I, I don't know that I've actually seen that much and it looks like you can really adjust it uh, forward and back very easily as well. Yeah, it just takes like a quarter of a turn and it's loose and you can adjust where that location is yeah. and then tighten it back down and, and re-engage. So. Well, uh, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next vi video. Thank you, Nick, for having us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.